Hey, so um, the Nintendo Direct for March 8th is actually happening within 10 minutes. Um, I've already kind of recorded and talked about my predictions for it. Um, however, I'm since essentially I could have wrapped all that up in 10 minutes and instead of 20. I'm kind of just going to recap my predictions um, for it and then just talk about it. So um, the information that Nintendo has given us for this Direct is tune in for roughly 30 minutes in total. Um, of information focused on the 3DS and for the Nintendo Switch titles launching this year, including new details on Mario Tennis Aces. So, because the Nintendo 3DS is a ending uh, system, I don't I don't necessarily want to say dying because when it's said in that tone of like game consoles, it said like, oh well, it's just dying. You know, who cares? Let's move on to the next big console. You know, that that that, that irks me. So. Um, yeah, the, the 3DS is dying off, um, for lack of a better term. The 3DS is dying off. Uh, with this being said, I feel like that they're going to focus the majority, um, half if not more, um, of this Direct towards the Nintendo Switch. So this being said, since it's 30 minutes, I kind of feel like that we'll get 8 to 10 minutes worth of Nintendo 3DS information, and then 20 plus minutes, or just the rest of that time, dedicated to Nintendo Switch stuff. So... As far as the Nintendo Switch stuff, since this Direct specifically lists that Mario Tennis Aces is going to be like a prime thing, um, I kind of feel like that they'll be dedicating a hefty amount of time of the Switch, 20 plus minutes um, portion of this Direct, to Mario Tennis Aces. Um, depending on how many installments, how many games, or how many updates on games that they tell us, Depends on how long, obviously, Mario Aces will be. If there's only, like, three Nintendo Switch things, then Mario Aces will be 50% of that, and then the other two Nintendo Switch things will be 25%. So it's just kind of, like, the majority of which, depending on how many they view, if that makes sense. Um, second thing, excuse me, I just had a Cosmic Brownie. Uh, I'm good. So the, uh, the other thing, really, uh, excuse me, what was I saying? Crap. Anyway, so as far as, like, what 3DS installments we can expect, um, I don't know, because there's not really a whole lot that people can, can, can really see coming, but what we do know is coming is Persona Q2, um, which we've gotten little to no information about, aside from the fact that it exists. Um, there was rumors about Ever Oasis 2 coming out, but a lot of people are kind of irked about that because, like, nobody asked for it. So, uh, what, what else? Um, Nintendo could probably, could possibly, like, crank out all their Pokemon spinoffs, um, onto the Nintendo 3DS, just so they don't kind of clog up their Switch with it. If that makes sense, and they just leave, uh, the, I guess, Generation 8, the big Pokemon title... For the Switch, so those are some examples of what could happen for the Nintendo 3DS. For the Nintendo Switch, um, Kirby Star Allies information is more than likely going to be given, um, just kind of because the game's coming out within a few weeks, so it's kind of there. Um, Yoshi, we we desperately need information on Yoshi, just because we don't have any information about it. I don't even think it has a set name. I think it's just called Yoshi or Switch Yoshi or Yoshi Switch. Like it's little information about Yoshi has actually been shown off, um, ex excluding the gameplay. We've seen loads of gameplay, nothing story wise, nothing, n no themes, nothing. It's just gameplay. So, which kind of scares me because, you know, it's, it's, it's like, eh, well, why do I need to get this game if it's just a basic platformer? Like, isn't that what Kirby is? So, um, there, there's Yoshi. Um, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze is getting a port to the Switch. They, they could be talking about information on that, even though we kind of already gotten all the information we could get about Tropical Freeze. So, there's that. Um, the world ends with you. They could probably give some sort of an announcement about it. I think they, I think they gave a release date for it last direct. They either gave a release date or they set a release window. So depending on which one of those that they did, they could possibly talk about the release date for the world ends with you. DLC packs, maybe. I don't know. Um, but it would be really cool to see that game get some form of DLC, even though it probably won't just because it's a straight port. Uh, 
uh, what else could the Switch have? Legend of Zelda wise, Hyrule Warriors Defen Definitive Edition, um, we desperately need information on. Now for the past couple of months we've been getting information about that game from more on like the Japanese side of Nintendo via Twitter and YouTube. Um, N Nintendo of America hasn't really been pressing um, Hyrule Warriors as much as Nintendo of Japan has been. So it kind of makes me think, like, is this game really that important in, in general? Um, now, personally, I really like how it looks. So I'm wanting to get more information about it. Um, do I think we will? Yes. Um, I don't think necessarily it's going to be the biggest thing because we've kind of gotten everything that we need about the game. We've got new characters. We pretty much already know what the story is because of the original version. Um, dilly dilly. So it's, it's just kind of, it, it's just a matter of time until we get a release date, which kind of should be obvious for this Nintendo Direct. Um, Smash Bros. wise. <sighs> okay, so a lot of people are kind of hype, or they're, they're kind of hyping up this Direct to be the Direct which announces Smash for the Switch. So what I feel like may happen is if they do announce Smash for the Switch, they'll announce it. That's it. They'll just say it's coming, and then they'll show like a new cinematic trailer, or not even a trailer, just like a cinematic 20... No, not even that much. Just like a cin cinematic like eight, 8 to 12 seconds of the inkling, you know, like shooting the screen. Um, something like that, because I feel like they need to kind of give a new character to kind of push the importance of Smash Smash 4. Even though Smash 4 on the Switch in and of itself is the biggest importance that this Direct could have, um, it, they, a lot of people think that they need some other drive for Smash 4 on the Switch, which is what that would be. So, um, let me see, let me see, let me see. What else, what else is possible? So, obviously, they're going to be talking about Mario Tennis Aces, which I don't really care too much about. Um, they could talk about Xenoblade DLC, um, I guess, because they're rolling out DLC month by month or every other month. They just actually released DLC last Thursday. Um, it was New Game Plus, and one of the main villains you could have was like an ally. Um, so, that's pretty cool. Um, I don't think there's really a whole lot else. I talked about a whole lot, like, in the initial recording, but, you know, I'm kind of toning it all down for ten minutes. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, so I don't... I, that's kind of what I expect this Nintendo Direct to be. Um, as far as, like, more deep specifics as to, like, what specific 3DS games could be shown, what specifically of Mario Tennis what specifically of Hyrule Definitive Edition. I don't necessarily know, but just knowing Nintendo, I kind of feel like that this would be how they'd announce those kind of things. Um, and in terms of Smash 5, I've always, or Smash 4, I've always thought of Smash Brothers as this huge IP that they'll use at like hyped up events. So I kind of expect thorough, in-depth information about Smash to be more revealed at E3. Um, if they don't announce it here, and if they don't announce it here, then it's more than likely going to be announced at E3, um, because inevitably that game has to be coming out for the Switch, unfortunately. And I say unfortunately just because, like, you know, a lot of fans expect it, therefore it's not really, you know, as much as a surprise. Um, so that's, that's kind of where I sit with, with, with Smash 5. Like, I, if, if they announce it here, it's just going to be an announcement with, like, an eight-second cinematic showcasing of a character. And here it is. It's starting. It's starting! Okay, let me... Hi, everyone. The time has come for today's Nintendo Direct. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi, and I'll be your guide. Okay. I have lots of information to share about upcoming games for Nintendo Switch and Nintendo 3DS. Dilly dilly. Up first, some Nintendo 3DS headlines. Okay. Persona Q2! Persona Q2! The biggest collection in this micro game series. What is this? The latest WarioWare! series is coming to the Nintendo 3DS family of systems. Which means there's a new way to play Wario's strangely satisfying micro games. 
with classics and new additions. There are 300 micro games to enjoy, making this the biggest entry in the series. Press buttons, tilt the system, use the touch screen, and microphone. Only Wario could come up with this many control schemes. Think fast, what playstyle is required for this one? Better figure it out and dig that crazy action while it's hot. Hey, some familiar characters are rocking new looks. This is the most jam-packed game in the series yet. Just look at that face. Even Wario can't contain his wicked grin. WarioWare Gold. Okay, I kind of expected WarioWare. I didn't mention it, but I figured that was happening. Get ready for <gasps> no way! Apocalyptic races and battles. Race down enemy Grox and rock them in battle to defend frontier villages. Dylan? Yes, sir. Action meets tower defense in Dylan's Dead Heat Breakers. Sweet. This time, the Red Flash himself, Dylan, will team up with your own animalized me character. No! And use your whole team. Customize characters, it's the bane of my existence. Your friends' me characters can join the team as gunners. Oh. You'll need their help to face each wave of transforming monsters. Who okay. It's not that big a deal. Never mind that. It's not Sonic Forces. It's not Sonic Forces. A demo version of the game will be available for download May 10th. The full game, Dylan's Dead Heat Breakers, rolls into Nintendo eShop on Nintendo 3DS May 20th. So two weeks after the demo. That's cool. I Dylan may be the character they announced for Smash then. Are the brothers and Bowser still better together? Nintendo DS classic Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story is back for more gut-busting adventures. Yes! Mario and Luigi have been tasked with finding a cure for the Blorbs, a disease threatening all life in the Mushroom Kingdom. Wait, this was just a regular DS title. Both brothers have been devoured by They, Bowser. like, redesigned it. Their journey takes them deep into oh my the word. Place, leaving Bowser to scour the kingdom for the cure. This looks like a new game. It's the change between the bros and Bowser. Oh Big my word. Will even beef up for monstrous boss battles. Yeah, I remember that. Take him down in this action-packed RPG. Ooh, man, I I loved that game so much. And I wish they did uh, something for the Switch. Like his boy wants in on the action. Find out what happens behind the scenes in the untold story of Bowser Jr. When Mario and Luigi That's really cool. 2019. Is this their first game that they've announced for 2019? That's ooh. On Detective Pikachu. Oh, new amiibo. Something about this Pikachu is a little different. He's rough. You agree with me, don't you? Runs his mouth. Hey, no boss be around. Likes coffee. This hi hat one is as delicious as ever. And no one knows why. Welcome to Rhyme City, where humans and Pokemon usually live in harmony. But recently, Pokemon have been behaving oddly and running amok. A Luckily, a boy named Tim and Detective Pikachu are on the case, facing each mystery head on. Quick attack! Oh, oh. Yeah, that's cute. Did I do it? As of today, the game is available for pre purchase in Nintendo eShop on Aww. Nintendo 3DS. Switch title. That could have been a Switch title. That would have been a great Switch title. March 23rd. Plus, keep your eyes peeled for this extra large Detective Pikachu amiibo figure. Which launches the same day. Wow. That mysterious mansion has reappeared. Oh, it's a remake. Ah. Ah. Luigi Manson Switch could have been a thing. It could have been a thing. It's not going to be now because 3DS remaster. Fans of the Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon game can now explore the original mansion where Mario went missing. Luigi's something of a scaredy cat, but these classic ghosts and traps are no match for his vacuum cleaner. Besides, the mansion's map will be displayed on the bottom screen. If you work up the courage, fight the ghosts of your past battles in the new boss rush. Yeah, grab a brownie. I don't want a zebra cake though. Here, throw away my plastic. 
Throw away that plastic right there in the... Oh! Okay, how long was that? That was short. Well, let's keep the headlines coming. Okay. It's time for Nintendo Switch. Okay, get Mario Tennis out of the way. Get Mario Tennis out of the way. Oh. Meta Knight, Waddle D. I knew it. I knew they were going to bring back those characters. Yeah. Bandana Waddle D. When you're saving the world, it's nice to have some heavy hitters on your side, even the likes of King Dedede. Meta Knight and Bandana Waddle I knew it was, yep, yeah, I knew that they were going to bring back those characters. Eventually, for a return to Dreamland. To the game via free after oh, that's great. The first update See you, dude. Rick, <gasps> Rick and Kine and. Oh, that's so cute. Marks. <gasps> Marks! And Gooey. Oh, Gooey. <laughs> oh. It's like a dream come true to bring this ragtag crew of Oh, that is so cool. If you want to watch this, you can. It's the Nintendo Direct. Star Allies launches on Nintendo Switch March 16th. Remember, I used to be the spirit free update will be available March 28th. You want to repeat that in English? Wait, hold on. Yeah, the demo's out. I did a video on that. Do what? The bandana guy. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. An epic tale returns with new artistic touches. The grand adventure in classical Japanese style rises again in the huh? HD version. To save the no. land from a terrible curse, the legendary Okami... Oh, no, I was doing a live stream, and then it wasn't working. Setting off on a quest with the wandering artist... Yes, yeah, so and I'm just doing a video. Overcome challenges using the power of the gods, the celestial brush. So, this is a, this is a puzzle game based on Japanese culture. You play as that wolf. It's a Japanese... It's it's more a puzzle game than it is like an action game, so it's kind of like Zelda, but reverse the action with the puzzle. So it's it's good, but I probably won't get this if it's more than like twelve bucks. That looks fun. If it's more than twelve bucks, then I probably won't get it. Because it because it's a remaster, so. Available this summer. And they didn't give a price. What is this? Oh yeah, there was a leak on Twitter earlier today or yesterday that talked about this uh, Sushi Strike game. And so a lot of people were like, what is this? And so kind of thought it was fake. But So the, the thing about this game is that sushi has now been forbidden. So, so, yeah, you win to, you win by piling up the sh the sushi and then throwing them at the opponent to deal more damage, or you eat them. So, manage to pull off a special move created by one of your sushi sprites. You may be able to get the upper hand in battle. Of course. No, and I'm just watching the video. Battling fellow sushi strikers online. Yeah, it's the guy talking in the video. Sushi Striker, the way of Sushido launches simultaneously on Nintendo Watching a live stream. More travel, yes! More details, and more it's a game live stream. Yeah. Today, I have three news items to share with you. The Octopath Traveler game, the JRPG that I really like, they're talking about it now. What lies <gasps> She sets off to find her own adventure and gain experience in her job. Her path action is purchase. So she can buy stuff. Hey, do y'all care to shut my door, please? Thanks. Because, um, yeah. Simple as that. And this is Alfin, the apothecary. He embarks on his journey to heal those suffering across the continent. His path action is inquire. He can warm out info others aren't privy to in standard conversations. Oh, next, okay. Let's talk about jobs in battle. Characters start out with a base job, but they can equip an additional job to use in battle. Ooh. For instance, if another character like the merchant Tressa equips the dancer job, the combined jobs and abilities expand your strategic options. Ooh. That is. Finally, we know many of you have.
have been wondering about the release date. The game launches. Yes! Yes! Oh! Additionally, we will be offering a special edition of the game. Inside, you'll find a pop-up book introducing the eight characters and their places of origin, a helpful map for your adventure, oh. a sound selection CD, and a replica coin based on the in-game currency. This special edition will be released the same day as the regular version of the game. I'm getting that. Your Holy crap. have provided the development team with reference points and inspiration as we head into the home stretch of our work with the game. Please that is brilliant. The release of Octopath Traveler. Mm, that is brilliant. What happens when an otaku assassin enters the game world? The legendary gaming console, the Death Drive Mark II. Travis Touchdown wanders into the game world and embarks on a rampage of epic proportions. So Persona 4. An action game, racing, puzzles, a total of seven different game titles. With his beam katana in hand, he vows to exterminate every last bug he finds. Chain his simple yet exhilarating basic attacks and his arsenal of skill attacks to cut them down. That looks fast. sweet. A brutal boss lurks at the end of each game. Creatively combine your moves to crush them. Pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend for co-op multiplayer. Oh, that's awesome. And partner up with the one and only Batman. Did we mention the adventure mode, which tells a new story? Travis strikes again. Metal Gear? <laughs> ah, okay. In Dark Souls, every challenge is an opportunity. Plus There's nothing after that. Hmm. Dark Souls, okay. Dark Souls. A world wrought with despair and hope. Despair and hope, yeah, because that's normal. In the seemingly endless cycle of death, one clean victory becomes a moment you'll never forget. Now you can savor your accomplishments anytime, anywhere, for the first time on console with Nintendo Switch. There were a lot of like remasters also rumored to be for the sweat. Oh, network test. That's sweet. But there were a lot of remasters rumored to be on the Switch. Skyward Sword was one of them. Oh, that's hilarious. You can perform the popular praise the sun gesture with reckless abandon. Oh my word. And the Solaire of Astora That's funny. Will launch on May 25th. So I wonder if they're going to announce a lot more of those remasters for first party stuff. So far? Well, I have a quick reminder. Did you hear that my Nintendo members can now redeem gold points for digital games and DLC yeah. on the Nintendo Switch system? Just choose to use your points during the checkout process in Nintendo eShop or Nintendo Switch or on the Nintendo website. Visit the My Nintendo website to learn more. But what's an easy way to get coins? They don't tell you that. Nintendo Switch headlines. But first, let's shine a nice long spotlight on one title in particular. Oh, Aces. Aces. It's Aces. Yep, okay. Oof. I don't I didn't want to like surprise myself and it not be Aces. Okay, I can, I can kind of tune out, unfortunately. Playable characters, each with their own distinct characteristics. The varied playstyles on the Nintendo Switch system allow up to four players to step up together. Today, we'll mainly cover the essentials of the refined tennis gameplay. There's a variety of shots to serve up, like a basic shot, top spin, slice. And a lob that'll zoom over your opponent's head. Just to name a few. Why not aim and then shoot? Whoa, you can aim? Cool. Introducing the all new zone, zone shot. shot. It lets you pinpoint any spot you want. Rosalina! And send the ball so it's like Birth by Sleep's uh, shot clocks. That's pretty cool. Zone shots are really powerful. So if you get hit by one, your racket will take some damage. Oh, your racket. Three hits, it'll break, forcing you to forfeit if it's your last one. Wait, how many rackets? 
How many rackets can you have? But don't give up hope. You can stop a zone shot with a block. Return a shot with perfect timing, and you'll block protecting your racket. Okay, but can I play my me? That's where zone speed comes into play. When using zone speed, the world around you moves in slow motion, allowing you to perform incredible feats, like chasing down a quick shot. It's no instant win card, but it makes it a bit easier to block powerful zone shots. Of course, you can't just spam zone shots and zone speed the whole match. You can only initiate these moves by using up some of your energy gauge. The energy gauge slowly fills up the longer you keep a rally going. But the fastest way to fill up your gauge is with the new trick shot. If a ball gets away from you, you can jump over to knock it back. It's a risky maneuver. If you don't judge the timing or distance correctly, you may waste your energy, or lose a point. But if you're successful, your energy gauge will get a big boost. Fill up your gauge, and it's go time. Initiate your ultimate shot, the special shot. It will eat up your energy in a big way, but this thing can really turn the tide. It may even destroy your opponent's racket in one hit. However, not even a special shot guarantees a win. There's always a chance it could be blocked, so watch out. In these intense matches, every move you make presents a risk, and hopefully, a reward. Your energy gauge could be the key to victory. Will you use it for an offensive zone shot? Or use it for some defensive zone speed? Let's say you go for the zone shot. Will you go for a surefire point? Or will you try to destroy your opponent's racket and run the risk of getting blocked? Non-stop, split-second strategies may be the best part about Mario Tennis Aces. Purists rejoice. You can also play using simple rules, which means only basic shots are allowed. Once you connect online, you can play a match with your friends or other players. Events and online tournaments will be held allowing you to compete against other players. Chain shops? What? Record during the event. As a participation bonus, you can get special outfits. Oh, that's neat. Additional characters. There's also swing mode, which allows you to use your Joy-Con like a tennis racket. Forehand, backhand, slice, and lock. This mode is perfect if you want to play the game casually with your friends and family, or just get your body moving. The game offers a refined approach to tennis. Chain Chomp is a character. What even? What even? Plus, the story mode will offer other twists to the good old game of tennis. Huh. Ha, <laughs> Waluigi. Mario Tennis Aces launches June 22nd. June. Okay, I was like, what number is six? Oh, and one last thing. As we approach oh the game's God. launch, we decided to hold a pre-launch oh online God. tournament. I thought it was, I thought it was something else. I thought it was something else. Whew. Nintendo, you, you play with my feelings. That smug look. We'll have more on Mario Tennis Aces in the future. Okay. Let's continue with some Nintendo Switch headlines. Come on, like four more. Give me four more. Captain Toad is Not this one. <laughs> Give me four more. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. That's like DK. Ooh. Ooh. 
few Super Mario Odyssey levels too. Oh. Now you can explore locales from a variety of kingdoms. Check out New Dog City. By the way, did you know Captain Toad also appeared in Super Mario Odyssey? Yes, it did. The Nintendo Switch version can be played with a friend by sharing a pair of Joy-Con controllers. While one player controls Captain Toad, the other can assist with things like turn up cover fire. So you can oh! Enjoy tracking treasure together. We also plan to release a Nintendo 3DS version with 3D visuals and touchscreen controls. Oh! Feels like there's a box garden right in your hands. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker launches July 13th. Okay, so Octopath Traveler Day, basically. Hey, who turned out the lights? No! No! Oh my. Oh, eventually. Wow. Wow. I've never played Undertale. What? The impossible is impossible. No. All three original Crash Bandicoot games are debuting on a Nintendo system for the very first time. Spin, jump, and whomp through the trilogy's hundred. So now Crash could be in Smash. And his sister Coco. Everything from the cinematics to the animations to the lush environments has been fully updated since the original games. So they'll look great on your TV or on the go. Ruin Dr. Neo Cortex's plans for world domination and save Tana in Crash Bandicoot. Form an uneasy alliance with the mad scientist in Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back. And stop him in the evil Uka Uka through a battle across time in Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. Believe it or not, the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy is officially making the Wump to Nintendo July 10th. July 10th. Wow. Never fear, Little Nightmares is... Okay, so what, is that, is that 3 or is that 4? From award-winning independent developer Tarzier Studios comes a charmingly horrific adventure like... Oh, this is creepy. The puzzle platformer Little Nightmares will trap you in the Maw, a vast vessel of mystery haunted by corrupted souls. The complete edition on Nintendo Switch contains two haunting tales and one... Ew. Page. In six and the kids' separate adventures, you must face their childhood fears across all eight chapters, including all past downloadable content. Each room is a cell. Each resident is a threat. And both present complex 3D puzzles to master. Not to mention, you can receive the Nintendo Switch exclusive in-game Paku mask by tapping the Pac-Man amiibo figure. Little Nightmares completed. Oh, I was like, why is Pac-Man relevant? Because Bandai Namco. Okay. South Park is coming to Nintendo Switch. Don't play with me, man. To announce that South Park, the fractured but whole, is coming to the <laughs> <laughs> From the creators of South Park comes this outrageously offensive superhero adventure that you can play any time. Oh, he actually said fractured but whole. Customize your avatar. Oh, you my word. South Park and join Stan, Kyle, Kenny, and Cartman's superhero team. Well, I have like eight people to call now. As surprisingly deep as the show that spawned. You just let him hit you. Level up. Build your notoriety. Craft items, go on quests, and more. All past DLC will be available for purchase individually or as a part of the season pass. DLC 1, Danger Death. And DLC 2, From Dusk Till Casa Bonita, will be available for launch. And DLC 3, Bring the Crunch, will tell an additional story when it releases later this year. South Park, The Fractured But Whole, releases on Nintendo Switch April 24th. Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. Uh. When exactly? Let's take a quick moment for a release date announcement. The heroes Thank you. and villains of the Legend of Zelda series are about to spring into action once more. Spring? Spring. 
May 18th. Okay. 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 That's two months. Arms fans, don't miss this. The Arms League is pleased to extend an invitation to all you hardcore fans out there who've been playing the game, enjoying all the added characters and stages, and going online to play the new Party Crash mode. We're happy to announce the Arms US and Canada Online Open. Prelims will take place in the game's online ranked match mode from March 8th to March 18th. So a tournament. The top players will then move on to the online finals March 31st. I'm confused. Are they adding are they adding a for glory mode or is this a tournament? Oh no, they're opening the online services for the US and Canada. Stay tuned for our social channels for more details in the coming Which will allow ranked matches and such. Well, we have good news. On March 31st, we'll be hosting a three day test punch. Download this demo event from Nintendo eShop on Nintendo Switch. That's fantastic. And see what you think of the world's stretchiest fighting game. On March 21st, Producer Kosuke Yabuki will discuss the development of ARMS at the Game Developers Conference. And Hisashi Nogami will present separately on the Splatoon franchise. Mm. Look out for coverage of both. Okay. Okay. Inkopolis News Bulletin. It's update time. Okay, this seems to be it. Splatoon and then we're done. This, this, this looks to be it. This April, Splatoon 2 is getting an update. Are they going to announce anything else? Like Smash, because I predicted Smash to kind of be like announced, not like talked about. So at the very end of the presentation would be the time to do it. Now I don't expect. I, oof, I'm just kind of. I'm on. I'm on edge. I'm on edge. I'm more hyped now than I was prior. Rank X is here. But rank X is an extreme rank, even higher than S+. Plus. More details are coming soon. Okay. Once you meet certain conditions, Callie will appear in Octo Canyon. The world of Splatoon 2 continues to evolve, so don't miss out. Whoa! Whoa. Trippy. Now, a word from the Squid Research Lab. Check oh. out their latest video. Smash. No. Story mode? Story mode. Or campaign? Or a spinoff game? Or maybe this is Smash. Nah. is really weird. Oh god, that that old man. It's a dancing game, isn't it? It's a dancing spin-off game. This is weird. Is this like a horror version? Oh my. Or is this like a uh, trial of the sword kind of thing? To where you can only, where you play but with limited resources. This is weird. It's campaign mode. Octo. Path Traveler. Splatoon 2 Octo. Expansion. Oh, DLC. Hello. Squid Research Lab here. So, how was it? You just saw a sneak peek at the first 
paid, downloadable content for Splatoon 2, the hefty new single-player mode, Octo Expansion. You'll play as the new character, Agent 8, who looks like an Octoling. She wakes up on the platform of a dark subway station without her memories. Looks like some kind of shady underground test facility. In this massive subterranean world, there are 80 of these test facilities connected by a subway. You'll depart from the station with purpose. A variety of missions await Agent 8 and her talents. Expect new stories to unfold, shedding new light on beloved characters. You may think you know everything about the world of Splatoon, but these waters run deep. And so See, I like this now. Escape from these twisted depths, and you'll be able to join multiplayer matches as an Octoling. We hope you enjoy this fresh perspective. Yeah, because normally they're squids, aren't they? Octa means eight in Latin. That means 2018 is the year of the Octoling. Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion will launch this summer. After today's Nintendo Direct, Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion will be available for advanced purchase in Nintendo eShop. 20 bucks for extra story mode and headgear and clothes isn't too bad. Immediately receive Octo themed in game gear to use in battle today. Thank you, Squid Research Lab. Hopefully, Splatoon 2 will continue to splatter our expectations. You bet. That's all for today's oh. Nintendo Direct. Oh, well, actually, we have one more announcement. Please take a look at our last video for the day. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Pokemon or Smash? It's one of the two. It's Smash Brothers. It's Smash Brothers, guys. It's Smash Brothers. It's Smash Brothers. It's Smash Brothers. Yes! <laughs> Yeah! Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. I'm calling my friend and telling him. Hello? Hey, are you busy? Uh, well, I'm not home yet. Okay, uh, do you have like a minute of your time that I can steal from you? Okay, dude, 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 dude. So the Nintendo Direct just finished. Okay. okay. And right now I have you live on my video. Okay, so say hi. Hello. Okay. Guess what just got announced? What? Smash for the Switch and the Inklings are in. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. That's trash. That's trash. Dude, but hold on. They showed off Link and Mario like silhouettes. That's trash. Link, Link was no, in his dude, Breath of the Wild like outfit. That. Did they, hey, did they announce Mario? They did not. Are you serious, mate? I'm done. <laughs> he hung up. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my. Okay. Like I said, easily best direct it could have been. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to end the video and then do my thoughts and impressions. Whew. Whew. Peace.